So we're going to try to do something with maple right at the, at the end of our material. Okay, so we're going to do a very compressed treatment of a topic called inclusion-exclusion. Prelude for inclusion-exclusion. Going to take you back to about the seventh grade and Venn diagram kinds of questions. So you probably worked a problem like this when you were 10 or 11, 12, somewhere in there. The teacher was telling you, I have a universe. Uh, this set X, this universe, contains 23 elements. There are eight elements in the set A. There are 11 in the set B. And there are five elements that belong to both A and B. How many elements in the universe belong to neither A nor B? It's, it's not a rhetorical question. I want you to, to tell me. I hear four, five, five, seven, twelve. Don't say thirty-eight. Nine. Don't say thirty-eight. So how'd you get nine? Yeah. Um, well, you since A union B is five. If you want to subtract. Uh, a union B is five. Don't think so. Sorry, A intersection B right. is five. Then, which means you're going when you subtract eight and eleven, you're gonna have to add cos eight back because you subtracted from it. The um, intersection twice. So, so you took 23, yes. took away 8, then you took away 11. 23 minus 19 is 4. And then then you put 5 back on. Not necessarily in that order, but the additional subtraction doesn't matter what the order is. Is that how you got 9? Yeah. More or less? Okay, so the same, but now you're doing exactly what she said. You, you did a certain amount of addition and subtraction, and the order in which you did it is not important. Okay. Huh. In this Venn diagram, the universe contains 2,307 elements. We want to determine the number of elements in the universe that don't belong to any of A, B, and C. If I were to give you the quantities A, B, C, A intersection B, B intersection C, A intersection C, and A intersection B intersection C, could you do it? Would you like to do it? Could you and would you like to? How would you like to work a problem like this with a hundred sets? Could you do a problem like this with a hundred sets? Mm, yeah, okay. Trusting our ability to do arithmetic without error, we could do it. But would we like to do it? No. No. 